Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card reading, an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. Um, so this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Uranus, wherever Pisces influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies and themes for the next week or so. Uh, I don't date the videos anymore, um, but I do make a new Pisces video every single week. And so if you love this content, please like it and share it. It's a best form of flattery and it helps the channel grow on other social media platforms, um, but also subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload all the content that you love. Um, there is always an extended video. And that basically is a full tarot card spread that articulates the energies that we uncover here on YouTube and it expands upon them, digs out specifics and personalizes the reading a great deal. And that also includes a full romantic reading or interpretation of the reading. Um, I will also attach above the romantic tarot link so you can get a little bit of a, a look or a peek into um, what and who is coming toward you. All right, Pisces, let's get to it. <sighs> Feel a strong sense of peace and purpose. Maybe a little bit of disappointment um, when it comes to people's response, but simultaneously happiness in your efforts and a feeling of self and personal fulfillment. But let's see where that's coming from. Crowning your energy, Pisces, is learn from the past. Two plus uh, five, yeah, two plus five. The energy is seven. So you have been studying something very, for a long time. This is something, maybe even just studying it in the school of life, but this has been a long time coming, something that have you have been working on. I don't know if it's a specific project or if it's that you've been working on yourself or just a lifelong interest that you've, dedicated your heart and mind and soul to. Um, so at this point, you are somebody who has some sort of authority when it comes to this subject matter. Um, and you are wielding your authority. I don't think you're being brutal about it, but you're definitely walking into the room like the elephant in the room. Like what is the elephant in the room? The thing that cannot be ignored. And I feel like that's the energy that's crowning your energy right now. You are, you're either taking up that space and filling up that role of being the elephant up in the room, the thing that, that we just can't ignore, even if we're not trying to talk about it, or you're experiencing some sort of energy of the elephant and of the, of the room, this sort of energy of, um, um, you know, we've got to talk about it. We've got to deal with it and we've got to handle it because there's this sense of there's in terms of you there's almost this sense of there's no way we're not getting through this there's no way that this is going to get to us or do us damage because you have devoted so much of you to what's going on here and there is a, a sense of i'm not letting it falter i'm not letting it fail and i'm not i'm not backing down mm, damn um, be fearless and bold, knowing yourself, having, um, a firm sense of self-worth and self-value. And I think it's because you have such a deep relationship with this circumstance or this subject matter. I don't know if you're dealing with a person as much as a commitment to a vocation or an art form, something that you know, like the back of your hand and you love it. And it actually helps you to love yourself. This is a commitment to something that makes you feel good every day. It makes you, it empowers you, makes you feel strong. It's part of where your strength comes from is your link or your connection or your ability to do this thing. And so you can't give up on it any more than you could give up on, uh, than, than you could give up on yourself or giving up on this would be like giving up on yourself, but you have such confidence such confidence and once again, authority. This is Aries energy, certainty, being very certain or dealing with somebody who is very self-assured. 
Let's get into that energy a little bit more. Lay a solid foundation. This is the energy of uh, love and abundance of maybe even committing yourself to or having long-term commitment to something and been in a long-term commitment to something. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries or a Virgo. This is an energy of, uh, of life, lifelong commitment and uh, scheduling and planning and being confident enough in something to schedule out the next couple of years, to, to be able to say, I do, to be able to make that long-term commitment to something that you will not, in other words, it's not only that you have faith in it, you will not give up on it. Sometimes life stings. No pain, no gain. That's what I heard as soon as I pulled this card. This sense of a buzz or an irritation. I don't know if you've been trying to do something online, but it could be irritating you or getting in your way, convoluting things, confusing you. But really what it is, is it's really just an irritation. That's what it is. It's not going to make you back down from this, but it is a little bit frustrating. And it's almost like spurring your fire to rise in your belly. It's almost making you inspired to try harder because there is this issue there is this uh, impediment that you have to get through it's almost like giving you something to fight for mm. uh, and then we have life is speeding up Ooh, this is connection and communication talking to somebody or the two two becoming one um, so focusing on connection, focusing on communication, communication being, this is Gemini energy. So it's communication being essential to you being able to work through whatever it is that's messing with you right now, as well as ensure that the two of you have, or the, that, that you have a bright future in this, uh, it's gaining momentum. You're pushing the tide along. This is your central energy. So this Gemini energy is central to everything that you are right now. So you're having a really easy time communicating right now. Or communication is at the heart of what is going to make or not. I don't want to say make or break you because nothing's going to break you. You've already committed yourself. It, you're not going to be broken. But communication is at the heart of your success right now. So it really does. It really is like paramount to your mind um you could be communicating through the web um and it pestering you or bugging you or you could be experiencing communications coming in from the web that are really frustrating you but they're not going to dishearten you like i said they're almost like a spur in your side like the spur in the side of a horse makes them run faster um, sing your own song. Oh, music in your life, feeling inspired. But this is also feeling liberated, feeling free, being your true self, being true to yourself, liberation, getting out there, sharing your voice. So this has got to do a lot with vocal communication or, or maybe even writing music or depending on how creative you are, um, um, sharing your song which could also be your message um it, you don't have to sing at all but getting communications out about your feelings and your perspective uh on on something that you have been working very hard on for a very long time so on something that you find consider yourself an expert in let's just put it that way because you're speaking with a lot of authority um, Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide, um, coming and guiding from an objective perspective. So you could be a leader, you could be a teacher. This is the energy of change. It could almost feel weird to you that you're in this position. Like, how did I get here? Like, how did I become the teacher? How did I become the leader? But you are, and you're assuming, you're assuming that position. It's also making decisions once again for the future. This is very air energy. So once again, it is it is founded in communications, being able to talk. And, but this is it. It's showing people the way forward. That's what it is. It's taking the lead to show people the way forward, seeing it very clearly, miles and miles away, what needs to be done. In other words, you are going into this circumstance with absolute certainty. You've already plotted out where you're going to be in the next five years and being playful, encouraging people to play, encouraging people to be light or trying to lighten a heavy mood. 
This is the energy of staying shallow, but not because you're shallow. Staying on the surface, wanting to make people play, wanting to heal people through play, or almost like the Pied Piper, you luring people in and conducting them in the, the direction they need to go by being playful with them. Mm. Also, there's a ringing in my ear. Message. Um... Wow. So this is really, really um, being confident in the future and also having a good time while you're doing this. I should say that right out. You're having, you're really enjoying this time. You're really even, even, you're even enjoying the conflict and the complications because they're inspiring you. This is Libra energy, embrace the in-between. So a full acceptance of not necessarily, you're not, you're not, Pisces, you're not giving up. You're not accepting ambiguity. There's nothing ambiguous about where you stand. You know exactly where you stand, but you're embracing this moment, this time that is frustrating, but at the same time, inspiring. You're taking it and you're rolling with it and you're building on it. You're, you're, you're making, you're building something. You're making something bigger out of this moment. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, be generous of spirit. This is Leo energy. Once again, energy of 10, which is leadership. It's conclusion. It's something coming to fruition. It's having confidence and abundance and love. Your heart being so filled with love that it, it, you are certain of yourself. This is Leo and Libra energy. You could be very uh, confident in your partnership. You could be very confident in this love that you have or in the stability of it. Um, and even seeing how it behaves when it is unbalanced makes you more certain of it because that really is the defining moment, really getting to know somebody or getting to know your, your full potential, right? Is when you are tested. That's when the truth comes out about how much do you really love this or, or how, or how much, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. How much do you really love what you do or, or how certain of it are you when it's unstable? It's the clearest time to see just how important this is to you uh, or vice versa, how important you are to it. This is a really stabilizing energy, but uh, flamingo ironically only stands on one leg um, for economy. So figuring out a way to make the most out of a complex situation. Pisces, this is beautiful energy for you. Uh, take a leap of faith has come out in reverse. Um, this is still lucky energy, but it's basically you realizing that you're lucky where you are. You're not going anywhere. You're Like I said, you're not, you have this almost Taurus stubbornness to you right now determined to get through even the rough patches, um, certain, filled with certainty. And yeah, oh, I just saw three, three, three. You guys are blessed, definitely. Um, filled with certainty in your purpose and you're not going anywhere. Normally this would be leap, jump, go, D even if you can't see where you're gonna land. No, this is you are lucky where you are realizing that your abundance lies exactly with what you have and using what you have to push forward or to create these links and connections with other people, the broader world, using your the voice that you have earned or, or worked on um, to be what solidifies you to speak with authority and speak your mind. Hold on while I flip the camera. I like this self-assurance for you. I like you feeling strong enough to balance on a pin or balance on one leg because you know that the, the land the platform that you're standing on is so solid. And you know how you know that, Pisces? Because you built it. You're certain of where you stand because you built the platform. 
right? And that's why here you are speaking with authority or being looked to as a leader to help encourage other people in some way. I don't know if you're working in communications, if you're a teacher, this is a sense of really coming out as a teacher, even if you don't purposely mean it to. This could, this is double Gemini energy. This could be calling somebody to you, finding your voice. Um, but it's definitely leading them through what could be a very irritating or irritable, irritable situation. I don't know if you've been getting a lot of calls from friends lately, but this almost seems like that. This energy of people contacting you and relying on your positivity or positive outlook to help them. To help them get through what could be a very discouraging situation. You're not letting it discourage you though. That's the thing. That's the wonderful thing about your energy right now is you're not allowing yourself to be discouraged. You are the seat of encouragement, in fact. There is definitely communications. I don't know if they're coming into you, you getting good news that makes you believe in the future or trust in the future, gives you reason to sing, gives you reason to be happy. Let's see what's coming in for you. Let's go into the uh, extended reading, Pisces, and articulate these energies. Continue the story uh, beyond, and then we'll also get your romantic tarot. But I have this feeling like something is really good is unfolding in your life right now. I'll see you over there.